Chances are you probably wish the Royals would have smashed the Blue Jays, put an end to this series on Wednesday. But now they get a chance to clinch it at home, yeah. hopefully with a win tonight. They take the field at 7.07. And meanwhile, their successful postseason really having an impact on KC businesses. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live at the Power and Light District to tell us how restaurants are doing. Hey, Andres. Hey there, Lindsay. Hopefully tonight we'll all be popping the champagne uh, for the victory uh, after the Royals do clinch that game six. So all of this obviously is keeping the businesses here at the Power and Light District busy. And it's good business for them because they are raking in the cash from all the customers that stop by here. We ended up stopping over at by Manny's in the Crossroads District. And they tell me there that the Royals postseason has given restaurants a very nice push during an off time this year. Around this time of the year people are usually getting ready for the holidays so it really has caused an uptick in sales he the general manager there also told me that it's all about providing a unique experience to the customers the Royals fever is something that is very contagious and people just want to be a part of it you know we announce the scores during uh, business time if they're playing during our lunch hour or in the evening and we let people know and people always cheer and go crazy so it's just really kind of an infectious uh, thing going on that our Kansas City Royals have uh, have uh, allowed to happen here, so it's been really fantastic. And now he and other fans will obviously be watching tonight, hoping to the fact that the Royals will go ahead and clinch a spot for the World Series and go ahead and extend this postseason. Reporting live at the Power and Light District, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.